Bitcoin might here not be already out of the woods. And yes, guys, we definitely have to talk about this. And also what is happening with Ethereum. Ethereum is going here higher and higher while Bitcoin is standing still. So that is also something interesting that I have observed since yesterday. So and definitely don't forget if you're new to the channel, like this video, subscribe to the channel and also activate the notification bell. And now let's straight get to it. So here on the Bitcoin for hourly chart, uh, we can observe something really interesting. And that was that we went here all the way down to $19,500 approximately. And from there, we got then a small bounce here back to the upside into the golden ratio, the 0 0.618, the 0 0.65. That is the so-called golden ratio. But the Bitcoin price is fighting right now to stay within that range. A rejection out of this range could lead to um, lower drop here into lower levels all the way down to potentially the 0 0.786 $19,200 where I am personally have already some orders placed just in case if we go that low that I scoop up some cheap Bitcoin there and also a new long position from this level. So when we are looking here on the stochastic RSI we can also see that uh, the bolts are running out of steam here because we are almost at the top of the stochastic range here 100 percent so and when we get here into this range then we are overbought and the price has to correct so that the indicator can cool down or has to go sideways so and here in that case i believe we will start going sideways potentially down or we will go immediately down to cool down uh, these indicators and then we will see another leg to the upside another reason why i believe that this could be a viable option is when i look at the ema ribbon here on the EMA ribbon, we see the price action has started to break here back into the ribbon, but the price action right now is also fighting with the ribbon to stay within the ribbon because the lower end of the ribbon is also in alignment of the 0 0.618, the 0.65 Wenatchee retracement level. We have um, so much resistance coming in above the uh, above these levels here. Also here you can see at $20,600 approximately, also there the 50 exponential moving average is coming in as resistance and that could be also reason why the Bitcoin price is held down here for the time being. So but what would be a level where I would be looking out for to open a potential new long position for Bitcoin? So first of all, this these candles that we are seeing right now here on the four hourly chart here, this section is not looking like uh, a reversal pattern right now. It's not looking like, like a W pattern. So, and uh, that is the first reason why I would be not long here <clears throat> in this kind of area for now. So I would starting to long Bitcoin if we break here above $20,800, $900 here, this line here, that is the line in the sand for me where I would be starting longing Bitcoin um, once again if we are not dropping any lower and I can open my position. When we are going to the daily chart, also here things are not looking so good right now. We have seen that the Bitcoin price has broken down out of um, this bear flag here. So and the bear flag target is still all the way down here at $18,000. So and we could be creating um, right now a bearish pennant something like this and then break further down so or we could actually form another bear flag with the pole from here and that would also bring us potentially down to eighteen thousand dollars approximately so this is right now not the moment to long bitcoin um, unless we are hitting here either twenty one thousand dollars approximately or nineteen thousand two hundred and there i have so low leverage that even if we would drop to 17k i would not get liquidated and guys if you want to trade with me together don't forget that you still can get a bonus only for today you are only able to get this for today tomorrow it's not available anymore on bybit four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars only if you click here my specific link that's really important that you use only this link or on BitGet, $8,000 free bonuses with 15% discount on the fees. Also, only with this specific link here, guys. So now let's have a look here on Ethereum. Because Ethereum is moving despite what Bitcoin is doing. <clears throat> and that is quite interesting. It could be related to the merge of Ethereum 
where we go from proof of work to proof of stake. So that is a possibility. And here on the one hourly chart, we can um, see that the Ethereum price has already flipped here the EMA ribbon back into uh, an uptrend and to the upside. So and <clears throat> here we have now a beautiful retest of the EMA ribbon. So um, this uptrend could last for um, quite a while here in the immediate short term. However, when we go to the four hourly chart, we have just broken above the EMA ribbon here. So and the ribbon has not flipped um, yeah, that long time ago. So and that is for me a sign to be cautious here because based on the four hourly chart, if the price action cannot maintain to stay here in these levels, so basically here in that kind of section, if the price action cannot stay within this uh, box here, then uh, we will most likely see a rejection back to the downside because here's uh, too much heavy resistance in this area. So and uh, yeah, then the Ethereum price will drop back down under the ribbon to $1,500 $1,450 approximately and um, yeah, continue to go sideways before we see here any substantial move back to the upside where we flip then the ribbon back into an uptrend. So on the daily chart, we can also have a quick look here. So here you can see that there is coming resistance in from the EMA ribbon because the EMA ribbon is about to flip here to the downside. As we can see that the yellow string here, the upper uh, string of the ribbon is working its way down. So and um, yeah, the price action got done, uh, got also rejected exactly from the top uh, of the higher layer of uh, the EMA ribbon. And so and uh, yeah, if the price action cannot come really, really quick back above here, uh, $1,630 and stay above that level, then the EMA ribbon will flip bearish and then we should also expect further downwards pressure for the Ethereum price in the immediate short term. So guys, um, unfortunately, they are not so uh, good news for the price action as we can see it right now. So um, especially with September being historically always a bad month for crypto in general, but this could maybe change in the next seven to 14 days where we have to observe the market and see what's actually happening here. And um, yeah, I'm um, anyway buying at these low levels. We should also always see the flip side of things. And that uh, that means that we can uh, scoop up a, a lot of these coins at levels uh, where we did not have seen them for the last two years. And that gives us a major, major opportunity um, to get in at low levels. Um, and this can make us a lot of money in the next and upcoming bull run. Guys, that's it uh, for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching here. Once again, don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you again tomorrow.